All right, everybody. We have uh, on the on the phone with us right now, and actually on the video channel with Skype, we have ML Kingsley, and she's a member of the InfraGuard uh, board over at the Maryland uh, InfraGuard Members Alliance. And with her, she's got a couple of very special guests. Now, <clears throat> the suspense and intrigue here is we didn't know where ML was going to be uh, broadcasting from, so we're going to let her describe all of this. All right, and without further ado, here we go. ML, take it. Take it away. Introduce yourself and everybody that's with you. You got a couple of handsome looking gentlemen standing next to you there. Yes, I'm in very uh, good and safe company. Thank you so much, Joe. You're welcome. I'm here at the, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the FBI's Violent Crime Behavioral Analysis uh, Seminar. Uh, this is day one of three in Annapolis, Maryland, and that's where we are. Our Maryland chapter is one of the co-sponsors. We were invited along with the Fusion Center and the uh, COPS also is a, a sponsor. And, and where is that taking I, place, ML? In Annapolis. Oh, okay. Maryland. All right, so you guys are in Maryland. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, First, and, and who are the people with you? To my right is Paul Joyle, who is a past president of Maryland, uh, and now he's on the national board. And to my left is John Baker, who is our current president. Oh, well, that, that, that's very nice. I didn't and realize that we had such a steam company with us. But, but wait, there's more. Oh, boy. We also have the FBI coordinator for Maryland, Mark Schuler. <laughs> oh, tell us she could do more than a peek in. She can drop in there. That's not, not to be bashful. Or the DC. DC coordinator. Ah, there's two. So we have a full house. I that, guess. That's terrific. Wait till you see who we have behind the curtain here. <laughs> uh, easy, Paul. We don't want any surprises here. This is going out nationally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, what are we going to talk about? Uh, I know you're at, a, you're at a terrific conference there with the FBI Violent Crime Seminar. I'm sure there's a lot going on. That we kind of uh, co cover violent crime up here in New York as well as the, on the 11 o'clock hour. Um, so uh, what else do you have to tell us? What's going on down there? Well, I was going to ask uh, each of these gentlemen to say a couple of words. Uh, John? Uh, yeah, we can talk a little bit about the kinds of things that we're doing here in our chapter with... Uh, hey, John, why don't you move move over a little, or ML, maybe you shift, shift the camera a little bit. There we go. There you go. That, that's better. Yep. The, the kinds of things that we've been doing for our members in our chapter, the kind of meetings that we've been having, we just had one sponsored at the State Farm offices in, in Frederick, Maryland, which is in the western part of the state on bioterrorism and agricultural terrorism, very well attended. Yeah. Uh, that very meeting. important topic too, John, huh? I was, very timely, uh, yeah. put together by the group. Uh, we have a, a really good group that does programming for the chapter. Their job is to really put together the meetings, the events, et cetera, and that really works very well for us. We've got others coming up in uh, SCADA, uh, CyberSig. Uh, we've got another one coming up in later this month. Let me get to the end list of these things later this month for uh, counterproliferation uh, and then third another one in September and excuse me, in in August on counterproliferation then in September we've got one on the insider threats we've got a number of good meetings scheduled for various groups within our yeah. part of the organization yeah. so if there are people listening from that Maryland Baltimore area it sounds like you've got some fairly attractive events coming up uh, and people would do well to tune in and find out what's going on in our, our Maryland Different Guard uh, Members Alliance, right? Yeah, I, I think so. And it's all because of the members themselves stepping up and saying, I want this, I'll help do that, I'll put this meeting together for you, etc. cetera. Uh, it's been a wonderful group to work with here. You know, yeah, we have and that's what InfraGuard is all about, right? It's about the members yeah. stepping up. Yeah, It is. Yeah. With 700 active members in our chapter, that, that is just a wonderful thing to have. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I'm going to switch the camera slightly to, uh, to get a better, this is Paul Joyle, who gave opening remarks at the uh, conference along with uh, Maryland State Police uh, uh, Sheridan and uh, Rick McFeely of the FBI Baltimore office and just some stellar people. So, hey, Go ahead, Paul. It's good to see you and good to hear from you. 
Good to see you, Joe, and look forward to seeing you at the National Conference coming up this summer. Yeah. Um, I wanted to let you know of an initiative that I'll be proposing at the National Conference. Um, as chairman of the Fusion Center Engagement Committee, I'll be putting forward a proposal that we develop and seek funding to obtain uh, training dollars so that we can establish an infrastructure liaison officer program modeled on the program of the Los Angeles chapter, which provides liaison uh, training and officers to the Fusion Center. This would allow uh, InfraGod to actively participate uh, in supporting the Fusion Centers by having trained responders who, if law enforcement is unavailable or first responder community is unavailable, uh, especially in some tucked away areas of a given state, that uh, we could rely upon our InfraGod chapter members to be able to respond to incidents, uh, snap pictures of, uh, of uh, suspicious uh, uh, devices, et cetera, and transmit that back to, um, uh, to the FBI. We think that this uh, could be a, a productive way of interfacing our chapters with the fusion centers in cooperation with the FBI. So it looks like we're going to be looking forward to a lot of uh, a lot of proposals and a lot of uh, new things coming up at that national meeting. Um, and you know, uh, just for our listeners out there, uh, you know, the the Everguard National Members Alliance invites each one of the local alliances, and it's kind of our national business meeting. Uh, is what we do, all right? And uh, Paul sits on that national board, and I'm sure he's heard from a number of the alliances around the country how some of these things can be have a very, very favorable impact on on the local area. And certainly, with the, you know partnering with the fusion centers is a good way to go, uh, especially for some of those remote areas where it's, it's difficult to really get any kind of collaboration going. So hats off to you, Paul. I uh, wish you a lot of success in that area. And we're proud to say that uh, Lauren Schuler, our coordinator here in Maryland, does uh, sit at the uh, Maryland Fusion Center. So the Maryland chapter does have um, uh, close working relationships with our statewide Fusion Center. Well, now we want to bring in, uh, to a greater degree, our members. Yeah, our, our New York State Fusion Center, unfortunately, is about four hours to the north of us, so uh, <laughs> a little yeah. difficult for us here in New York City. But, you know, when you talk about Rochester, Buffalo, and Albany, all right, the northern chapters uh, of Everguard here in New York State, that's something that they definitely could. And as you know, Paul, uh, Lori Vendetti's been working to develop that Syracuse alliance up there. So, you know, that also could be very much available to them up there to take advantage of and, you know, and, and use what you, you're developing. So, you know, it could be very good for them as well. So, Absolutely. all good news. And, Thanks, Joe. And Ray Gulladetti is, uh, is working, uh, he has a fellowship with, with Homeland Security in this area now, and of course he's very uh, connected with the New Jersey Fusion Center. Oh, yeah, but I think they call it the rock over in New they Jersey. They do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. I always hesitate thinking, yes, but they do. <laughs> well, yeah, it's kind of a funny name for a fusion set of the rock, but uh, that, that's what they call it. What else I we got What else we got going on down there, Mel? I'd like to ask Lauren, since uh, Paul invoked her name, uh, to just introduce herself, if you don't mind, to the audience uh, we're really formal around here but you know everyone's practically carrying a gun although i just saw a bicycle go by in the hallway <laughs> there's also a race for america group so it's an interesting mix yeah i guess inside of a conference center that could be interesting huh <laughs> Motorcycle. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> hello lauren how are you I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you? Not bad, not bad at all. Thanks for coming on to the show today. It's good to see you, and certainly, uh, you know, a, a critical part we were telling ML about the FBI's violent crime seminar. We do, uh, we do watch the violent crime up here in New York City, and uh, you know, important piece of what you guys are doing down there. You know, joining in with ML and, and the rest of the group down there, John as well. Uh, you know, getting that out there. It's important for people to get that information, right? Yes, it is. There's over 400 law enforcement officers from 19 states here that are listening into this three-day conference that um, our chapter part partook in by donating um, some funding to assist in making it happen. Um, so we've gotten some some fantastic publicity to local and state law enforcement organizations um, here at the conference for the next several days. 
And, and like ML mentioned, um, Kara Seidner is the new InfraGuard coordinator, my counterpart at Washington Field Office. And we are, uh, have been planning to work closely together in the coming year to schedule our meetings um, so that both of our, our chapters and memberships can enjoy them um, and attend, you know, whether they live in Baltimore or D.C. And so, it sounds that sounds good, Lauren. I, I I didn't want to interrupt you. I didn't know if anything else was going on back there, but it does sound good. And it, it, this must have taken a hell of a lot of work to get uh, 19 different law enforcement agencies from all around, uh, you know, the country to come into this. So hats off to all of you down there. It sounds like you got a great event going on. Well, the person who uh, was a primary organizer is uh, uh, Special Agent Steve Shepard, who uh, is be li liaison uh, to the the MCAC, the Maryland Fusion Center, uh, in addition to, of course, being a, a special agent. And uh, he has some other roles as well with the Maryland, uh, the Maritime Tactical Team. He's quite a quite a force. Uh, but I think Paul Joyle has has another uh, thing that he wanted to include. Uh, so all right, I've got a, I've got about a minute before I've got to switch on uh, to our next our next let's segment. Let's go that. Go uh, Lauren, Paul. it's good to see you. We'll hopefully see you next month. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. All right, take care. Go ahead, Paul. Joe, I'll be quick. Um, I'm putting together a keynote panel for the Fosse Convention coming up in July. Um, which will provide a uh, briefing on the uh, Operation Trident Breach of the FBI, okay. in which uh, over 100 criminals were arrested uh, globally, and we're going to bring in the uh, the um, uh, legal attaché from Romania to, to participate in this uh, in this program. Should be a very interesting session. Yes, it sounds great. If we can catch up with you live online, maybe we can get that out across uh, across the country. That'd be a great thing to promote. Absolutely. Thanks, all right. Joe. All right, folks. Well, ML, you did an outstanding job, and I'd say you did this on the fly. Uh, I don't know how many people could have done that. All right. Thanks again. We certainly do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you, Joe. You too, Joe. Always a pleasure. Thanks. All right. Bye. All right. Bye now.